often investors and potential clients ask, you know, why why don't we invest in uh, you know U.S. Treasuries? And I think you covered that very well compared to uh, government bonds in Australia. But the the question for me is, you know, from what you've shown, you can get a higher return from corporate bonds. And uh, why does Nucleus Wealth choose to just invest in uh, government bonds rather than corporate bonds? Yeah, so corporate bonds, um, this is sort of like a weighted average. And so it's actually, uh, there's a lot more variability within that. And you can get, you know, you need to, you want to get a product quite a broad spread in terms of your corporate bonds to get these. Because if you're just going to say, okay, I'm going to pick one or two or, you know, even three or four different different bond issues, and they tend to be quite illiquid, um, then you know, you're running quite significant risk that one of those companies runs into problems. So, so you want to get a, quite a broad spread. And the issue with the, getting the quite a broad spread is um, that, uh, yeah, now, now they're not exchange traded, and so, uh, or mostly not exchange traded. And so, then you're you're starting to play around in in terms of unlisted assets. Uh, and then, secondly, um, so so yes, yeah, so, so, so there are some trading things. And the second part is just the risk return side of it. Is that um, Corporate bonds don't give you the same types of returns as, as, as government bonds in, insofar as when you, run, when you run into times of economic trouble, what tends to happen is interest rates get cut um, and government bonds increase in value. Uh, whereas when you run into times of economic trouble, you can go through uh, stages where corporate bonds actually go the other way. So, so um, the, 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 the spreads blow out, everyone's concerned about companies falling over, and, um, and sometimes you can actually find that, that um, uh, well, yeah, not in sometimes, but relatively often you can find that the actual values of the corporate bonds are falling um, rather than rising in times of trouble. And so uh, and, and so that means that their, their return profile is actually much more similar to, to equities in, in, in when that occurs. So I guess what we've taken the view is that, um, you know, by blending government bonds and, and, and shares, both of which are, are very liquid and much more, are much more easily traded, um, you can actually end up with very, you know, a return profile that's that's not dissimilar to what you might have been looking for from from some of those corporate bonds. So um, yeah, certain times of the cycle, absolutely, you know, corporate bonds will, will look good and, and be worth um, sort of investing in. But for my part, it's not um, it doesn't have to be a core part of your portfolio. It's more of a uh, yeah, more of a satellite, I suppose. And that's that's how you know what we're really trying to run is is these core portfolios, and then with the idea that you know. We don't have hedge funds within it, or we don't have small caps, or or, or um, you know some of these uh, different sort of alternative strategies. Is the idea that well, they don't have to be a, a core part of it. We'll run the core, lower cost, liquid, safer assets, and then if you want to buy a corporate bond bond fund, yeah, you can drift into that for a little bit and drift back out when you when you think the uh, uh, the the value doesn't add up. You can find out more at nucleuswealth.com.